And the hard throwing Ronaldo Lopez on the hill. Doesn't have much to show for his 142 ERA. This is his fourth start. He's thrown it very well around baseball. They do great things for their communities and nationally. So there is ball four. There's a base hit. So the one out walk, base hit by Correa. There they go. And that's popped up. Two down. Nikki is there. That's being nice. So that'll load him up with two out. Second walk of the inning. He's going to get out of it. Timmy making the call, taking charge, makes the catch. Lance McCullers Jr. on the hill, the hard throwing right hander. The oddity for McCullers is he does not throw a curveball in the bullpen. And I was a good uh, uh, up and in hitter. As he gets him. That's that curveball, and it's a freezer. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. If he throws it to right or left handers, it just seems to buckle the knees. That's one reason I used to love to watch Blackjack McDowell. Is Avi busting it down the line? That's going to be a base hit. Breaking ball. Back him up. And after one, there is no score. And that ball down in the right field corner. He's not going to get it. Stay fair. It will. So the two out double. That's the second two bagger of the season. That that you just yeah. mentioned. There's the base hit by Yolmer. Here comes Matt. Yolmer on his way to second base. Ball gets away, so he's safe, and it's a one nothing Sox lead. Off the end of the bat, broke it. Clutch two out single by Yomer Sanchez, and we'll go to the third leading one zip. That's hit softly into right field. It's going to fall for a base hit. So why so, don't you take Correa? Because he got two hits today. That ball hit in the left field. Can of corn. And that'll retire the side. We'll go to the bottom of the third. And there's ball four. That a boy. 3 2 hook, and the guys are starting to look at him instead of swinging at him. Well, maybe he should have thrown a few down in the bullpen. <laughs> is that is a rocket off the glove of Correa. That's another base hit. Far. And there he just shoves that one into right field. So here comes the Uri. Here is the throw. And they get him. Now, Leury wants him to check it. He thinks he got his hand in there. Well, if he did, it was the great slide that got him in. But running on Reddick is not something you want to do often, especially when he's got all the best of it. I think everybody, that's one of those things where everybody did their job. Jose got the base hit. Reddick charged it, made a good throw, the good tag at the plate, the great slide by Moncada, and he is indeed out. That ball hit into right field off the end of the bat. Bregman, Gonzalez, and Gaddis this inning. And there's a base hit. Oh boy. That's where those good leads will get you. Runners will advance. He gone. Yes. Yes. There is a little soft Kansas City special in the center field. Last 10 or 15 years, it's been amazing. As he beats him to the bag, and that'll retire the side. That ball hit well into right center field, and nobody's going to make that catch. So Springer starts it off with a double. The 
That's the only problem with a high fastball. That's that's just a good at bat right there. And it's a one one tie. Line shot. That's the hang woof them. For Bregman. Meanwhile, they get a run. We're halfway home, tied at one. And now Gregory Infante comes in the ball game. There you see it, the eighth time. The area is coming down. He gone. Frozen. Two down. Get by it, Will. That ball was hit hard by Castillo. Little payback for getting drilled last time up. 16 team leagues, four 14 divisions. And now Yomer gets hit. Yomer, after a double that produced a run and a base hit, gets one. The pitching coach walks to the mound. Softly hit. Aaron Bummer comes in the ball game on for the 11th time, so he's been a busy man. No. Boy, you're talking about a Kansas City special. There it is. Bruce Rondone's got his work cut out for him. He's got Marisnik representing the go ahead run at first base. Nobody out. And there's base hit, and it's 2 1 Houston. It's Swanger. On the way to third. And Leary gets back in the second. So it's a 2 1 Houston lead. Nope. Softly hit. Looks like a Kansas City offense only in that there's only one out and Nate Jones comes on for the seventh time. He's 1 and 0 with a minuscule 135 ERA. Marwin Gonzalez a good player off to a slow start hits that one deep. Now, ground rule double that's going to score a pair. Marwin was very quiet up until that. Oh, knocked down to the plate. He gone, but some damage is done. Seventh inning stretch. And Hector trying to get through the ninth inning and turn it over to the offense. There you look at the numbers on for the sixth time. That's the thing. That ball hit high and deep. And way back. The seven one. The high speed replay is powered by Xfinity, and this is a bomb. High fastball. Chris Davinsky goes to the mound, a very valuable member of this team. And the White Sox, very familiar with, on for the 10th time. Uh oh. And this ball game is over. So the Sox lose the first two coming into the day. We lost the opener 10 to nothing, lose this one 10 to 1. They scored five times in the seventh inning, and we get beat seven to one. And 